Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've stopped off at a place, it's a National Trust for Scotland property and it's called Greenback Gardens. It's in East Renfrewshire and it's not really that far from Clarkston. I think the road to get to it is actually just off Clarkston Toll. And I'd actually volunteered here about over 10 years ago now, when I first left university. And I haven't kind of really been up here for a, a good few years now. So kind of wondering what's changed, what's happened. So it'll be kind of interesting to see. And it is a kind of pretty wee place. And there is a Georgian house on site, but it's mostly used as offices for the National Trust for Scotland. But I think uh, visitors can visit the inside of the house during the summer. So I'm going to just wander down and show you what's going on. So if you hopefully you, but you will enjoy this video. And if you are enjoying my videos, if you are enjoying my channel, just click on that, on that subscriber button. Click on that notification bell. Leave some likes, leave some comments. It's always really appreciated. And if you're wanting to help support the channel further, I will leave a link to the, to the channel's coffee.com page in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So I'm just going to head off down and let you see what's going on. So just some information for you all. So, Alison would have been one of the tobacco merchants associated with Merchant City in Glasgow. So, where I am just now I'm just coming round to the front of the Georgian house. I'm going to try to go out around this way, but wait, this way a wee bit to give you kind of a good look at the front of the house. So this house would roughly be the same age as the original part of for Pollock House. Might not be as grand or as opulent as Pollock House, but still very grand and very much a statement of wealth and power. And the entrance for the garden itself. It's just down this way. And that was very much a kind of formal walled garden. So this is the back of Greenbank House, which is in the centre of Greenbank Gardens. And as I said earlier on, it is Georgian in date. So that's from the start of the reign of George I to the end of the reign of George IV.
just got into the other part of the gardens. Quite an interesting looking sundial. You will have noticed on the information board at the start of the video that it was mentioned that the family who owned Green Bank had a connection to the slave trade and that would have been through the tobacco, the tobacco plantations that they had in what is now the United States of America and it is something that a lot of the Glasgow merchants had a connection with a lot of them had a part to play in the slave trade which is a kind of very kind of dark period in Scottish Scottish history, or kind of a dark moment in, in, in Scottish history. But it is something that uh, people are starting to be educated about and can understand more and learn more about. And there are start be, a lot of people are starting to realise that there is that connection between the slave trade and places like this, which hopefully will help people to understand and learn more about such a horrendous period in Scottish history and not just Scottish history but world history as well. So this is uh, the water you could hear during part of the video. So we're making the uh, information black just here. to get to have some wildlife in this garden with your rabbit just sitting in the middle of one of the gra grassy paths
Yeah, we've just come down into the Woodland Garden section. Which is a really good place to go and explore now. It does appear quite popular with dog walkers. And some interesting Woodland art. Well, that's me back from walking around Green Bank Gardens. And I know I'll probably say this in quite a few of my videos, but I would say that Green Bank Gardens is definitely a wee hidden gem. It's one of those good places that even though it is a National Trust for Scotland property, you probably would need to know that it actually exists to know to come and visit it. It's not, it's not one of the ones that's kind of we make a big song and dance about. Um, but I think that's kind of part of the charm. It's this garden that's kind of out, kind of in the country, out kind of in the the Shremshire kind of countryside. And it is quiet. It's very calm and peaceful. And it's just nice to kind of come up here and and go for a walk and explore and see the gardens. And it is definitely somewhere. That if you are into your gardening, if you enjoy that sort of thing, you would really enjoy coming to see the Green Bank Gardens and seeing what they're doing with the gardens, with the, the flower arrangements, with kind of just the outdoor space in general. So this is one that I would definitely recommend to people coming to visit and coming to see again, especially if you are Green Fingered and you love just kind of seeing what somebody else is doing with their garden. So I'm going to wrap up just now and hopefully you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.